Hello and welcome to the new game plus. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the problem that you're having with Lost Planet 2. Um, I'm testing the game out right now as of 2020 and I'm going to show you exactly what the issues that I have with the game is. Uh, currently, I'm running Windows 10, uh, 64-bit and my CPU is a Ryzen 7 3700X and I got a decent graphic card having an RTX 2080 Super, which uh, I should be able to run any game in this computer but with Lost Planet 2 is giving me an issue which I every time every time I try to run it either on DirectX 9 or DirectX uh, 11 as you see right now here so when the video started I'm gonna show you something in the menu I already put instruction what you guys need to do but you basically gotta press the, the Windows key and the R key at the same time to bring um, the program that you will be able to run um, to run um, executables for, for Windows and um, right here I had to have a test manager open because there's no way to, uh, to leave from that window or close it if I don't use a uh, test manager because if you go back to Steam and you try to close it it will give you an error and you just have to wait to close automatically so right here you press the Windows key and the R key to get executable and what you're gonna run you're gonna look for MS confit as like you saw in the beginning of the video and right here then we're gonna go to event we're gonna go to boot events uh, you're gonna select your operating system which is Windows 10 in this case for me and the next step that you're gonna do here is after you um, go into this menu is to uh, we're basically gonna change the core count for our CPU when we do our boot uh, when we do a boot because right now if you go to your um task manager and after you get into task manager uh you will be able to see that basically is giving you the information or your or your cpu is telling you um and only have and this motherboard only have one cpu because they only for one socket so it says one socket a core 16 threads so that basically the information what you have right now on your on your computer um if you're trying to run this game right now you either have right now a a, bad, a really fast processor with a lot of cores and that's probably you probably why it's giving you issues right now with this game so what i did was uh when we are about uh, you guys uh, need to do in order to run the game is actually change the core count by using ms confit to go inside of it and change the core count. What I did, I changed it to a dual core because the minimum requirement to run this game, you could check on the Steam store, is two cores to run the game. Uh, the games also run perfectly fine in four cores. I need to test it out in six cores, but anything is above that number, it won't run at all. So that is your fix, and that's what you need to do in order to fix the game. You need to, um, press the window and R key at the same time it's gonna launch the option to run um, the executables and you're gonna search for MS config as you saw at the beginning of the video and here you're gonna go to boot then you're gonna go advanced and you're gonna select your operating system and then you're gonna have an option to set the, the amount of cores the core count and you're gonna set it up to um, either two or four cores but remember, since if you have a processor that has uh, uh, threads, like the one that I have, it has eight threads. Uh, I mean, you got eight core sixteen threads. You will have to go all the way down and select sixteen, uh, the maximum amount of core, which is gonna be sixteen. Why? Because uh, it's basically you got sixteen threads. I mean, that you got an eight core. If you have a quad core, if you wanna uh, get um run the game on, on a quad core so you have a little more performing out of game because the game is actually compatible with a quad core processor in the selection of the cores you gotta go and select eight which is basically four cores eight threads but if you go higher than than eight cores it will not run the game will just crash completely because right now as you see I just um, after I finished editing my my core count, I was able to boot the game. The game is working perfectly fine. The only thing about this is if you want to um, 
go back and use the full potential of your uh, CPU, you guys, you have to remember to always go into the menu and change it up again. Because the only reason why doing this is to run this game Lost Planet 2 because um, if you have a higher count, a core count of 4, I need to test that out with 6 core because I'm not completely sure yet. But if the core is 8 or more above, you won't be able to run the game at all. The game is just going to be looping, looping in a black screen. You won't be able to do anything else. And another thing that you got to do is you got to install the games for Windows. You can search it on, on Google. And you need to install it, run it. And after that, you need to sign in with your uh, with your Windows ID my, or Microsoft ID, Xbox ID. Because this type of games use... Um, Xbox Live uh, services, so you will have to do that, and when you do so, you will have um, the game. If this is the first time you boot the game, inside of the game is gonna be an update. You just gotta update it after you done updating the game. You just gotta quit the game and then start the game again, and you will be able to run the game perfectly. If this doesn't work for you, you might be missing a file call. Um, a game for Windows client, and that's about uh, that's about it. Also, forgot to mention is you go you select the game on Steam, you click on the wheel I uh, uh, the gear icon, uh, and you click on uh, you can see all the files of the game. And when you see and when you and when you see the option, take me take me to the folder inside of the folder. There, they actually the game ship comes with uh, games for Windows inside of the game folder and you can install it from there too it does uh, it doesn't matter if you install it from there or not because when you run it it's still gonna ask you for that update and Windows will update uh, the, the application for you even even though this is all is still working functional because you connected to the Xbox Live services so you could play this type of games or multiplayer because you can still earn achievement from this game and it will count into your as well achievement. So I hope you guys found this video useful and helpful for you guys. And remember to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And you can share this video if anybody else is having this type of issue. I also will add um, some links to the download for you guys. So you can find... Uh, the uh, the program, the extra programs you might need in order to get this game working. But the main the main thing that you have to do if the game doesn't work for you is you basically has to lower your core counts. Your core counts have to go low to at least four cores so you can run the game. If you higher than A or you're in the A score, the game will not run. So if this video was helpful for you guys, remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you and have a good one.